Today, let us discuss Johnson Trotter algorithm. This algorithm is used to find all the permutations for a given set. In this algorithm, a digit or a component is associated with a direction, and the direction could be either from left to right or from right to left. Next, we should understand what is a mobile component. Whenever a digit is pointing to a smaller digit, then it is called as a mobile component. That is, if a component k points to a smaller number adjacent to it, then the component k is said to be a mobile component. I think we will understand with an example uh, more better. You consider this particular example here. Three is pointing to two, which is a smaller integer. Therefore, three is a mobile component. Two is pointing to three. Therefore, two is not a mobile component. Four is pointing to one, a smaller number. Therefore, four is a mobile component. One is pointing to four, a bigger number. Therefore, one is not a mobile component. So in this particular example, 3 and 4 are mobile components, whereas 1 and 2 are not mobile components. Also, to understand Johnson Trotter operation, we should be very clear with the concept of mobile component. And also it is quite easy, there is nothing difficult in this mobile component. You should be able to tell which is mobile component, which is not a mobile component. Next, directly we shall go to the Johnson Trotter operation. Always I will tell operation is very important than the algorithm. In any, any algorithm, first you should be thorough with the operation, then algorithm naturally comes. See, in this Johnson Trotter operation, there are three steps. You should be very clear with these three steps. The first step is you should identify the largest mobile component. So for step number one, identify largest mobile component. Step number two, you exchange this mobile component with the adjacent digit which it is pointing to. Simple. Step number three, for all the digits which are bigger than the mobile components, you have to reverse the direction of those digits. You apply these three steps continuously for all the permutations. Continuously, you go on getting the permutations. Let us start with the first permutation. Let us, let us take an example of finding the permutations on the set 1, 2, 3, 4. So the initial permutation is 1, 2, 3, 4 and the arrows for all the digits are from right to left. So this is the initial permutation. Now let us apply the three steps. In the first step, we should identify the largest mobile component. See here, 1 is not mobile, mobile component, 2 is a mobile component, 3 is also a mobile component, 4 is also a mobile component. So here we have three mobile components, 2, 3, 4 and among the three, four is the biggest, therefore, four is the biggest mobile component. So, step one is over. Step two, exchange the mobile component with the digit adjacent to it, which is pointing to. So, four is pointing to three, therefore, four and three should be exchanged. So, let us exchange four and three. Yes, four and three are exchanged. Step number three, if there, is, there are any digits which are greater than four, their arrow should be reversed. But here, there are no digits which are greater than 4, therefore step 3 cannot be applied here. So we get another permutation. Now again, apply 3 steps for this permutation. So what is step 1? Find out the largest mobile component. 1 is not mobile component, 2 is a mobile component, 4 is a mobile component, 3 is not a mobile component. So 2 and 4 are mobile components and the uh, largest mobile component is 4. So step 1 is over. Step 2 very simple. 4 and 2 should be exchanged. Yes, we will exchange 4 and 2. Step 2 is over. Next, uh, step 3 is if any digit which is greater than 4, uh, those digits arrow should be changed. But here there are no digits which are greater than 4. Therefore, step 3 need not have to be applied. We get another permutation. Now, we apply those 3 steps to this permutation. I think now you are uh, you are you are quite fluent in identifying the mobile components. In this particular example, four and three are mobile components, and four is the largest mobile component. Yes, four is the largest mobile component. Step number two, four and one should be exchanged. Yes. Step number three, we need not have to apply because there are no numbers greater than four. So all the three steps are over. We get another permutation. For this permutation, again apply three steps. So, 
4 is not a mobile component, 1 is not a mobile component, 2 is a mobile component, 3 is a mobile component. Among 2 and 3, 3 is the biggest mobile component, 3. So, 3 should, step number 2, 3 should be exchanged with 2, yes. Now, step number 3, any number greater than 3, yes, 4 is there. So, what should happen to the arrow of 4? It should be reversed. Yes, we reverse the arrow of 4, we get another permutation. Now, for this permutation, again apply those 3 steps. 4 and 3 are mobile components and the biggest is 4. Now, step 2, 4 and 1 should be exchanged. Yes, 4 and 1 are exchanged. Any number greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3 need not be applied. We get another permutation. Again, apply 3 steps for this permutation. So, in this particular case, 4 is the only mobile component. Therefore, the biggest mobile component is 4. So 4 should be exchanged with 3. Step number 2. Yes, we exchange. Step number 3. Any digit greater than 4? There are no digits greater than 4. Therefore, step number 3 need not be worried about. We have got new permutation. For this permutation, again we apply those three steps. Identify the uh, largest mobile component. So, what is the largest mobile component here? 3 is a mobile component. 4 is a mobile component. Therefore, 4 is the largest mobile component. Step number 2. 4 should be exchanged with 2. Yes, 4 is exchanged with 2. Yes, any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step number 3 need not be worried about. Now, again, for this permutation, we apply three steps. What is the first step? Find out the largest mobile component. 3 is the only mobile component that is there. Therefore, the largest mobile component is 3. Step number 2, 3 should be exchanged with 1. Yes, 1 and 3 are exchanged. Now, step number 3, any digit greater than 3? Yes, 4 is there. So, what should happen to the arrow of 4? It should be reversed. Yes, we reverse it. Yes. All the three steps are over. We got this new permutation. Apply these three uh, steps for this new permutation. We get another permutation. Now, here in this particular case, 2 and 4 are mobile components. Among these two, 4 is the largest mobile component. So, 4 is the largest mobile component. 4 has to be exchanged with 2. We exchange 4 with 2. Any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3 need not be worried about. We get a new permutation. Again, for this new permutation, step number 1. Only one mobile uh, component that is 4. That has to be the largest. Step 2, 4 should be exchanged with 1. Yes. Any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3 need not have to be worried about. We got a new permutation. Now, again, apply 3 steps for this new permutation. So, here, 4 and 2 are mobile components. Biggest is 4. 4 should be exchanged with 3. Yes, 4 and 3 are exchanged. Step number 3, any number greater than 4? No. Therefore, we need not have to worry about step number 3. We got a new permutation. Again, apply uh, those 3 steps for this new permutation. Here, 2 is the only mobile component. 4 is not mobile component, 3 is not mobile component, 1 is not mobile component. Only 2 is the mobile component. So, the largest mobile component is 2. So, 2 has to be exchanged with 1. Step number 2 is 2 and 1 are exchanged. Now, step number 3, be a little careful. How many digits are greater than 2? Two digits are there, 4 and 3. So, what should happen to the arrows of 4 and 3? They should be reversed, simple. So, arrows of 4 and 3 are reversed. We get a new permutation. Again, for this new permutation, apply those three steps. Find out the largest mobile uh, component. So, here 4 and 3 are the mobile uh, components. Biggest is 4. Step number 2, 4 should be exchanged with 3. Yes, 4 and 3 are exchanged. Any number greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3 need not be applied. We get a new combination. And this is a new permutation. Again, we apply those 3 steps for this permutation. In this permutation, 4 is the only mobile component. So, 4 is the largest mobile component. 4 has to be exchanged with 2. Yes, 4 is exchanged with 2. Any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3 need not have to worry about. We got a new permutation. Again, apply 3 steps for this new permutation. Find out the largest mobile component. 3 is a mobile component. 4 is also a mobile component. The largest is 4. 4 has to be exchanged with 1. So, we exchange 4 with 1. Yes. Any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3 you need not have to worry. We got a new permutation. Again, apply those 3 steps. 3 is a mobile component and 3 is the only mobile component. Therefore, 3 is the largest mobile component. Step number 2. 3 has to be exchanged with 2. Yes, we exchange 3 with 2. Any digit, step number 3, any digit greater than 3? Yes, 4 is there. So, what should happen to the arrow of 4? 
reversed. So we reverse their output. We get a new permutation. Now again apply those three steps. In this permutation you can see 3 and 4 are mobile components and the biggest is 4. Step number 2, 4 should be exchanged with 1. We exchange any digit greater than 4, no, therefore step 3 need not be worried about. We get a new permutation. Again apply those 3 steps. Step 1, only 4 is the mobile component and that is the largest mobile component. 4, 4 should be exchanged with 3. Step number 2, yes, exchange any digit greater than 4, no, therefore step 3 we need not have to worry. We got a new permutation. Again, in this new permutation, there are two mobile components 4 and 3 and the largest is 4. Step number 2, 4 should be exchanged with 2. Yes, 4 and 2 are exchanged. Step number 3, any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step number 3, we need not have to worry. We got a new permutation. Now, again, apply those three steps. First step, find out the largest mobile component. Uh, here, there is only one mobile component 3 and that has to be the largest. Step number 2, 3 should be exchanged with 1. Yes, 3 is exchanged with 1. Any digit greater than 3, step number 3? Yes, there is 4. Therefore, what should happen to the arrow of 4? Reversed. Just reverse it. So, we got a new permutation here. Again, apply 3 steps for this new permutation. Here, there is only one mobile component 4 and that is the largest. Yes, that is the largest. 4 has to be exchanged with 2, step number 2. Yes, it is exchanged. Any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3, we need not have to worry. Again, we got a new permutation. Apply those 3 steps. Find out the largest mobile component. 4 is the only mobile component that is the largest. Yes. And step number 2, 4 has to be exchanged with 1. Yes, 4 is exchanged with 1. Any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3, you need not have to worry. We got a new permutation. Again, apply those 3 steps for this new permutation. You can just observe 4 is the only mobile component here and that has to be the largest. Yes, 4 is the largest. Next, 4 has to be exchanged with 3. We exchange. Step number 3, any digit greater than 4? No. Therefore, step 3, we need not have to worry. Now, again, try to apply the 3 steps for this particular permutation. Here, we are unable to find a mobile component. 2 is not a mobile component. 1 is not a mobile component. 3 is not a mobile component. 4 is also not a mobile component. Whenever we don't get a mobile component, that is the end of the permutation. So, we had 4 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have 24 permutations. I think this is a simple operation, Johnson Trotter operation. And also, we shall uh, do the algorithm. Before uh, going to the algorithm, again I will uh, repeat the three steps. First step, identify the largest mobile component. Second step, exchange this mobile component with the digit adjacent to it which it is pointing to. And step number 3, reverse the arrows of all the digits which is bigger than this mobile component. So now the algorithm. So the input for this algorithm is n that is 1 to n that is a set. Output is all permutations from 1 to n. We should find out all the permutations from 1 to n using this algorithm. So let us start the uh, algorithm. Step 1 generate the initial permutation. So what is the initial permutation in our example 1 2 3 4. Here it should be 1 2 3 dot 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 n but anyway it is 4 written that is no problem it generate the initial permutation it is not 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 dot 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 n so that is the initial permutation step number 2 while mobile component k exists till there is a mobile component go on continuing when you should come out of this while loop whenever there is no mobile component that is the end of the uh, generation of permutation you come out yes find the largest mobile component k First step, swap the mobile component with the immediate adjacent integer pointed by arrow. Second step that we did, reverse the directions of the arrows of all the integers larger than k. Already we have done these three operations many times in our operation. That's all. That's all the uh, Johnson Trotter algorithm. It is very very simple algorithm, nothing difficult. Uh, I expect uh, you to write a very easy code for this Johnson Trotter algorithm. Before going to the code, be clear with the operation of Johnson Trotter algorithm. After that, you write down the algorithm also just according to the operation, then automatically code will become very easy for you.